we're going into the, the the first first to ten. This might be the very worst intro I think we've ever done in our lives. But Mirko, Mirko, that's all... how you look at it. Oh my god, 480 viewers, Jake. What a horrible intro we just we, did. We have we have two uh, newcomers to the first to tens in MK11, <laughs> but uh, by no means newcomers to competitive. Mirko really has always been kind of like the the ultimate online scorpion, right? Crazy man. And Orp's been recently playing Aaron Black, actually. Like, he, he plays a lot of characters. Um, <laughs> the shittiest intro. He plays a lot of characters. Um, but Aaron Black is a, a very recent pick for him. Mirko not only having, like, the MK11 Scorpion fundamentals, but just the, the Mirko fundamentals of Madman Scorpion. And he's immediately going to get the punish on the slide. That's one thing you've always got to worry about as an Aaron Black player is getting breakaway into a massive punish. Um, but what to expect from Mirko is just crazy stuff you know he's he's really really when you think of high octane scorpion he's always the first scorpion i think about but he does it in such a weirdly efficient way it's sick and there's a reason he plays reborn too i, I feel like reborn is the only variation that really lends itself to the way he likes to play it's very oh and there's the fuzzy on the low it, it's it's very it's like i said right high octane very high speed but the cancel is required to be able to make it actually work you know scorpion is not an amazing character but he's not terrible by any means he just has to work really hard he kind of has a bit of everything but not in a great way um but Mirko has always been able to kind of really just just figure it out anyway and again reborn is the reason he can actually play the way he wants Round two, fight. anyone that remembers the mkx uh, esl community cups that we used to stream I went back and watched a couple of those the other day. It's quite oh, nice. But Mirko used to be like an absolute mainstay. He was the star. On, on, it was, yeah. was, was K-Top. Oh, nice floor spot. It was basically K-Top and Mirko were the stars of the show most of the time. Just crazy cancels, really good execution. Mirko was just an execution fiend. And this is kind of like the game plan to expect. is just this really wacky kind of... Um, everything he's doing is a bait. Everything he's doing is if he thinks you're going to press a button or he's trying to get you to press and he really wants... Ooh, did you see that floor spot attempt? That would yeah, be clean. Yeah. But these crazy plays that Mirko goes for, what they do is they put the fear in you. And then the second the fear's been put in, it allows him to play much more creatively because now you're respecting a lot of stuff. Game sound is low. Well, we'll see I have, what I've, I've made it louder and uh, let me know if it helps out. This is about as loud as I'm willing to make it. Oh, risky. Oh, and, wow. And immediately, immediately pulling the trigger. He can't go for the stun yet. Fatal blows in play <laughs> and that was... Yeah. That was a game one fatal blow, I think. Just say, wait a minute, mate. Calm the hell down. It was fine. Okay, I'll put it back to almost exactly the way it was. There we go. That, sh that should be enough. Now, I know that Orp has been playing a lot of characters. I, I know he's been playing a bunch of Aaron Black as of late, but even back at like Unchained, like a, you know, just under a month ago at this point, kind of two or three weeks ago, he was playing um, Shaman Nightwolf. Was kind of his 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 go-to answer for oh you know what he thought was an answer for like outtake Johnny. You know, Orp has never shied away from uh -oh. picking up obscure characters if he thinks it will help account of what's in the matter at the moment. But Aaron Black, ooh, oh, that's a huge read breakaway. Definitely worth it for Mirko. Goes yeah. in for the down one because he knows the jump three is so high up that he might be able to squeeze a poke out there. Oh, with punish. punish. Yeah, can't go for the capital. Oh, tries to oh, go for to optimize. Yeah, tries to optimization. Now this is quite scary territory because as long as Mirko builds up that bar, he can keep this completely unbreakable now with the health that's left. And it might even be a thing. Yeah, tries to up three. Respect it, but immediately getting caught out and is, yeah mirko game, the thing that makes him scary and always has done is like this absolute loyalty to scorpion like he will always sh like shape his mortal combat uh around this one character pick like it's without question his favorite character and no matter what state scorpion's gonna be in for mortal combat it's always gonna be a character that he uses and that has such a high chance of him doing this kind of weird stuff that you won't normally see you know regular everyday scorpions go for there might be this weird little situation in a specific matchup that he's prepared for that the other opponent might not actually be ready for at all but i feel like that there's almost an element of how Mirko has been able to blend in, in at least the two netheron games that we've seen him play scorpion in um and mkx he was very much kind of just about absolute just chaos right hellfire crazy cancels optimized damage execution for days and like you know some questionable decisions you know like hard read just teleports in the neutral like buttons at weird times because the payout was so big from that character that he could get away with it to a degree but when you see him against players that would kind of be able to contain that craziness he would seem to struggle a bit what i think is a really good 
uh, premise to how Mirko has played MK11, this game does not let you go as Ham, and Scorpion especially not. So Mirko has been able to kind of like almost adjust the way he's known for playing to fit the Scorpion of the game, right? And that's the sign of a real loyalist, I think. Ooh, oh, big whip punish though. Not sure what Orp was trying down. to go for there. I think he's going to kill. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a big preemptive back two from Orp. I'm not sure what he was trying to catch. Maybe like a down four or something. But there's a whiff punish if you commit too much. Isn't it 1-1? One, one? No, it's 1-0 uh, for Mirko. No, it is 1-0 because there's only been one game. That, that, was, that was the first game, the one on Caron's ship. If anyone hasn't ever watched Foxy's stream before, I highly recommend it, especially when he's playing Gearus. It is the most ridiculous display of Gearus degeneracy. anti Eris. <laughs> oh! Ooh, nice anti yeah, bro. I know he's going to stagger. Is. That forward three stagger is, I think, one of Scorpion's strongest tools, to be honest. It's, it's one of those examples. Oh, uh -oh. and the counter hit, though. That's going to be big damage. There's no ability to break away. One bar, corner sight. Ooh, almost 370. Yeah, cheeky 37%. Oh, oh, and that flawless no. block. And that's the flawless block of the poke read is kind of a Mirko thing. Um, because anyone that does watch Mirko, they know that he really likes to he likes to down one, you know. And that's a, not a new thing. That's the way it's always been. If you give Mirko an inch, he'll try and take a mile with as many down ones as he can because he just wants to strong arm his turn back. That's always how he's played. Always. And MKX did the same thing. Uh, in this game, though, being able to counter poke, flawless block, up three someone to steal a turn that way makes you afraid to poke. And if you're not poking him and he's poking you, he's kind of just like a bully in that essence. Like, his, his scorpion is very, very smothering. And part of that play style is the second you feel like you've pressed a button, you've been hit by an up three, which is now plus, and now they're pressuring you again. Like, it's super frustrating to play against. But it also it's kind of like, again, Scorpion players. Scorpion is not known for having amazing options. He has a, he has a bit of everything. It's just he doesn't have an amazing version of much of it, right? He's got a good down four. He's got really good mobility. Teleport is still one of the best worth punishers. He does have combo opportunities. You know, he can keep it unbreakable if he wants. He does have crushing blows he can go to. But he's not like amazing at any of that, you know? Um... Which is where I think Mirko does this kind of like strong arm style. Because I feel like there's almost elements of you kind of needing to. But even that, 370 damage into a restand, into 140 grab. That's a, almost a half-life sequence by itself right there. MKX, bro. Haven't seen a huge use of the cancelled teleport because he hasn't really needed it. Tries to squeeze in a down one. But again. Ooh, Ooh. down four teleport cancel. There it is. But that down four teleport cancel entirely just to get him out of the corner, right? Give him that sort oh. of advantage. Instant teleport. No punish, though. Orp definitely could have killed on that. But that was like, I feel like that was such a fast teleport that almost, I mean, it's almost impossible for you to be ready for it in that situation. Um, but yeah, manages to squeeze out a round. And I'm wondering. Oh, oh that is I'm the worst curious, kind of drop. Curious as to how long Orp's going to be playing Eren in this set. I wonder if he loses a bunch of games in a row, I would imagine he changes. But this has been something that Orp's always kind of oh, had. Oh, that was nice. clean, dude. Very clean. Oh, oh, the standing one. Breakaway nice and high, so we can't actually punish the spear from that situation. Ooh. And again, Orp's, he's been doing that all set. These kind of preemptive back twos. He just, he has a feel for when Mirko's going to go for those advancing buttons, right? The forward three, the back one. Oh, Ooh. that was really nice. Hell that was yeah, that was clean. You wouldn't think Orp's only played Aaron Black for about a couple of weeks, really. Maybe not even that. I don't. I don't think he has. I. I, I feel like Orp. Um, Orp was in a massive character crisis when this game came out, right? You know, Orp was. Orp's That's a kind of that combo is a strong two, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to do it though because I haven't given Mirko anything, and I don't want him to think that we're being biased. I'm even a zero, in fact. Oh, I didn't give him anything. Oops. <laughs> Oh, you gave him the passive um, aggressive no vote. Yeah, it was a mistake. But or he was in a huge character crisis for like the first two months at least of this game. The only time I ever saw Orp set on a character for sure was when um, Kano got those first batch of buffs and Dirtbag got uh, enhanced. And for some reason, Orp was just like, I'm going to play Dirtbag now. And that was it. Um, Almost beat Honeybee at Kirk Throwdown with it, though. It was actually um, in part because like Orp played a lot of cassie at the start of the game's yes. life and but put like almost exclusively time into dirtbag after the patch and then Kelwick throwdown ran around
but then he kind of second guessed his character choices, went to comfort picks and like a Cassie he hadn't played for God knows how long, and ended up losing a lot of games with Cassie and would then swap to Dirtbag and run it back. Uh, almost happened against Honeybee, obviously almost not quite, Honeybee definitely still won that set, but um, I think it almost goes to show that Orp doesn't have the most confidence in his choices at times, but he definitely has a reason for picking what he does, you know, there's just, I feel like he needs to kind of settle a bit more as opposed to, because th there comes a point that you just spread yourself thin, and it just gets a lot harder to even just, just play, because there's so much you're thinking about, right, on, on character select, for sure. I know we're talking about that scorpion skin in the chat. I always kind of got the vibe from this skin that it was like, it always kind of struck me a little bit as like a, you know when like you're 15 and you want to make a really edgy character, so you have the palette select and you just make half of it black and half of it red, but like the same shade of red. Shout That's out always to, the kind to of... uh, Heroes Online, Champions Online. Yeah, like, I feel like if you made like an MMO and you wanted to make like Hell Scorpion, Evil Scorpion, but he's black and red because he's really evil. That's like... That's like the, I, I personally have a real, I, I don't like in any game or any form of media, the only black and red palette. There needs to be oh. more color for me to like it. Like, I don't think the skin looks bad, but I really, I would have liked that skin a little bit more if there was like a little bit of like extra shade in there a little bit rather than like two of the same color. But you know, it was the first, it was the first. Um... Yo, did you see those back to back standing fours? What is Mirko yeah, looking for? I, Are these buffered? He's trying to show off his leg. I wonder yeah. he's just trying to show you the skin. He's like, there is a little bit of grey just behind the leg. Just look closely. No, but even Sector has little bits of like silver and grey and he's got the bright blue eyes and the bright blue lights. Like Sector is black and he's mostly red with a bit of black. But because he's made of metal, there's a whole bunch of other bits of like silvery and grey colours and that. And that that's why his his look works. Because they're, it's not just black and red. Fight. Anyway, back to the game. Ooh, okay. He was fishing for a back two. I think that back two was uh, commit to it on hit and then cancel it on block, perhaps. All right. Well, that's one of the strengths to reborn is having the option to go for back two into the teleport cancel for safety. Okay. Escape failed. Or going to keep it a front throw. Very important for everyone black. I actually haven't seen any crushing blow throws yet. Oh, and there it is, that fake out. The scorpion special. That was just to get the hell off uh -oh. me down to. Ooh. We're not seeing Orp get optimal punishes as often as I think we need to here. He's playing someone like Aaron. You're looking to punish oh, wow. things. You know, if you if you whiff a grab or, or or block something, you're looking for that two one two. We're not seeing it as often. He's he's punishing a lot with down threes. I think he's only just looking for space as opposed to like optimal situation. Oh, breakaway! That's actually meager damage. Mur uh, Mirko saved himself from. It was mainly just stopping himself from getting sent full screen. But that crushing blow throw is still in play for Orp. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's ready. Yeah. Waits for it. I almost thought he was gonna be because that definitely wasn't a whip punish. He was looking for a wake up, but I feel like uh, Mirko, sorry, wasn't fully committed to the whip punish. Um, but then he kind of clipped him with the forward four anyway. Almost like it took him so long to get it out that Orp was like, okay, well he's not gonna press. I'm gonna now try and move, and then bam, that's when you get clipped instead. Speaking of Scorpion, Mitsu owns in chat. How's it going, bro? I saw your video on the new brutality on a uh, Black Dragon Fight Club, the chainsaw. That looks sick. Uh, I'm not swapping around the names, guys, because it's just really awkward. I'm just going to keep the name plates where they are and just update them one score at a time. Aaron Black. Pro, pro player us. With Punishers. Ferris. He was against... Foxy was against Sonic Fox yesterday. And Foxy was, like, just about to beat Fox in one game because it's just Raijin versus Gyrus. And Foxy, win or lose, doesn't really care at all. And he's about to win against Fox in a convincing game. And he's like, oh, wait, I forgot the mission. And his mission has been trying to take off as many people's legs as possible with that Gearus brutality. Oh, the forward two brutal. So then he's fishing for the forward two brutal an entire round. And Fox almost gets a 100 to zero full life comeback because the sand keeps hitting and the grabs missing. And he's like, the mission, I forgot the mission. And he's just <laughs> trying to grab his fuck, no, trying to grab Fox's leg constantly. Oh, speed of leg. We're actually oh, seeing God. that forward four crushing blow. And that's half life immediately. What do you reckon Orp's mission is? Uh, it should be- Oh! That, that was punished nice. The teleport. <laughs> that's, that's Orp's mission. Oh no, he dropped it. You do not want to give Mirko a chance back in. Oh, never mind. Acid. Oh. Ferris. Acidus. My name is Acidus Decimus Meridius. It's enough to lock. But it's against Scorpion, so it's alright. What does Scud mean? I don't know. 
Oh, Plague of Souls. Thank you for the nine month resub, dude. I've got alerts on right now because we haven't had as many of them going off. I don't think it's really a problem. Yes, this is Mirko, the Hellfire God. They're the very same Mirko, actually. The same guy. Oh, oh confirm. good confirm. No break away for you. One thing that Mirko is really good at is doing. He, he just he does back two teleport no matter what, and on hit he lets Ooh. it rock, and on block he cancels it. It's really good. Well, one thing Mirko's always had is these crazy reactions. Absolutely insane. Oh. That's an OS? Really? What's an OS? What, so, so do you just do the cancel timing and unblock it will give you the cancel? How does, so, okay, so how does the OS work then? Can someone explain it? Oh, oh that <laughs> is tragic. When you block the first couple of bullets and then get hit by the rest. Oh no. Wow, look at that auto shimmy. Okay, so oh, it, it okay. is an OS. It's not something that you have to react to. Okay, fair enough. So, Mirko is doing back to Tele on here and on block it will cancel. There is a way you can option select it. Don't know the exact way, but you can do. So, that's cool. Interesting. I was about to give Mirko too many props. God damn it. Didn't deserve it. Does not deserve said props. What is this? 3-2 uh, or 2-2? Two, two? It is 3-2 currently. Ah, uh, I knew it. Now, Mirko did say he had to go at around 8. So... I hope he can finish off this. <laughs> I mean, he confirmed him. He, he confirmed his availability, so it's kind of like he knows it's a first to ten. It would be well, very he, he did. He originally said nine. He said he could go until nine. I assumed he was talking about GMT because that was the time zone we were talking about at the oh, time. Oh, he means his one, right? But then when we we had already decided when the stream was going to begin, it was like, oh, hang on a minute. By the way, that's eight p.m. for you guys. And it's like, oh, hang on a minute. Maybe. Oh, oh, maybe yes. Maybe no. Videos. The block stun is longer, so if blocked, it will cancel. And if the back two hits, it'll be normal telly. Oh, okay, that's awesome then. It's good to know. 20 minutes. Speed run time. Speed run the rest of the first to 10. Easy. Oh. 20 minutes to win seven games. I don't even think that's mathematically possible. <laughs> oh. Yeah, wake up down ones and stuff like that. That's actually not too far away from uh, the way Mirko's always approached this character. Uh oh. Nice. Nice little pickup. Ooh! Uh, escape failed. He tried to tech it. Oh, oh another time. No. Now that's going to be death. Expensive, but keeping it unbreakable to make sure. I, I like that decision because spend the bar, not the fatal blow, because the bar will come back and will kill. The fatal blow won't. So that was really, that was really well done by Mirko. He's also already on, or, like he's already built one of those bars back, so it's not the end of the world that he spent it. If you're gonna spend a bar to end a round, you know you kind of have that grace period while the rounds are loading in to give you that free. Oh! That was a buffer. That oh, actually, that might be why Mirko is going for so many just standing fours into teleport buffer. Because if he goes for the drop kick, the standing four will beat it. Uh oh. Ooh. I think he tried to whiff punish that string because he saw the orc press the button, but he just couldn't squeeze out the standing one in time and instead just ate it. He's challenging it. Oh, oh, doesn't get the pick up. But again, he's trying to fight. He knows he can't sit and block because he's dead. Uh, so kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place there, I think. Fight. Oh. That was ambitious. Orp's not going for as many madman slides now either. He feels a little bit more comfortable, I would imagine. Well, I, I think Mirko has been, Mirko's been hit by a couple of them, but it's not always worth it. Even if it hits, like, the risk you have to take. Oh, that was not going to work. A clean punish from Mirko. Minimal meter spent by Mirko, so if he clips him now, especially when he's near the corner, that's a pretty bad. Oh, we were just talking about it. Again, wake up down one. I'm not. He, I, I'm yet really to see a wake up down one ever work. I mean, uh -oh. Aaron's meaty mids options aren't amazing, but if you're going to consistently wake up buttons, then there is going to come a point that your opponent is just going to wait for the button and not, not even try and meet you. Just know you're going to wake up buttons, let you do it, and then just whip punish you, which is what I think Orp's been doing a lot here. Oh, oh, that oh, was that was a big risk, a big risk. Probably wouldn't have killed on hit, but would have been close to chip territory, maybe. But not going to wear, as uh, Orp's going to take it anyway. It ties up to 3-3, three, three, three games apiece. I am <laughs> confirming in the chat to make sure that Mirko has time to finish this set, by the way, because I don't want to have to make big changes last minute. Might have to shorten it to a first to seven or something. Maybe. That's my thinking if it know. comes to it. 
But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let Mirko make the decision. Uh, hey, chat's talking about Terminator. We we might see our first our first um, injection of Terminator into the pro competition next week, provided that we have uh, obviously Biohazard has been playing a lot of Dark Fate. Fox has been playing Dark Fate. But... I'm really excited actually, but I, I feel like Fox is more likely to use uh, Raijin than Terminator at NEC now. But I don't. Sure. I, I genuinely don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I agree. I don't know. They've been pretty vocal by saying like they're gonna use Raiden at that tournament. Interesting. And considering they've been doing so well online versus like super top level players, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, that was nice. Can you imagine if that happens though? If we go from picking up a character for like a week and then getting top like top eight at any NEC, like what a statement that will send to all the naysayers. No, there's still going to be loads of doubt. There's still going to be oh, this isn't real because of that, or this isn't real because of this, and you know, th there's going to be doubt regardless of outcome. Um, and you know, if Fox does use Raiden at NEC, there's going to be lots and lots of... I, I, what, I can only assume a Raiden stands from what I see and experience on Twitter regularly that are just sitting there, like, keeping everything propped, like, crossed, hoping that they lose. Like, they will not want Fox to win because that, it means... That, that happens for every character, dude. Every character community has people like that, though. I do you remember Everyone. the... Everyone. Was it MK11 or MKX Johnny Cage community that could never be happier MKX. to see a cage player... The MKX cage players, like, I've never seen the community want other cage players to lose in tournaments so much. It was mad. Absolute madness. Ah, oh, oh, nice combo, man. 400 damage into quite a heavy scaling damage over time, but still big damage with uh, all the chip damage on top. That was really nice for Mirko. God, that Aeron sweep. Oh! Woohoo! This was an exceptionally good game for Mirko. Hell yeah. Oh, doesn't commit the whole straight. Oh! Uh oh. Oh, that was so cheeky. No, not gonna happen. Oh, the block though. Punish. Oh, no. That's fatal blow. He's dead. Forward three fatal blow. Well, he just what? ran out of it, didn't he? He just used oh. it. Wait, did he? What'd you have? Oh. He literally. Do you have short term memory or something? He just used it a, like a second ago. Uh, he was on Mirko's side of the screen and Mirko had it. So I saw the life bar. Uh, I'm like, oh, fail blows ready. I see. So what, what I'm saying is it's the game's fault, not mine. Yeah, of course. Don't at me. Uh oh. Now it's the knowledge there for Mirko. Whiffing buttons into buttons. Knowing he's going to recover in time. Oh. Ooh. The red paint comes out. It's only red paint, YouTube. Leave it alone. Yeah, season of red paint. Yep. Oh, slash. Dude, I love watching Mirko Scorpion. I hate playing it, but I love watching it. Yeah, it's because it's annoying to play, but great to watch. Yeah. But that, isn't, isn't, isn't I, that I, Mirko I play Scorpion him combat. I play him in combat league like every season, dude. Isn't that like Mirko Scorpion in a nutshell, though, from MKX as well? Horrible to play against, but fun to watch. Pretty much. It's great for us because we're like sitting down and we're spectating. I don't have to endure this. Your soul is gone. Why does every Scorpion player use this skin though? I don't it's think I, I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a Scorpion player use anything else since this one came I out. I think this is the edgiest Scorpion skin I've ever seen. The only thing that would make it edgier is if he ever had a flaming skull head option, and then you combine them. Then that would be Fight. truly the edgiest, edgiest Scorpion that has ever existed. Clean out here, wow. But again, I'm actually yet to see down one and wake up actually work for Mirko. Like he's really trying to strong arm it, right? But it's just not working. But the thing is, he's doing down one and wake up a lot. But Orp is kind of letting the button come out, which means he's not actually going in for proper Oki. So even though it's not connecting, it is deterring Orp from doing normal pressure, which might be all Mirko wants. But I think he's doing that cancel OS. I can only assume that's working again for the standing four because right then... It's like he buffers the standing four from that range, but because or just walked into it. Oh, wow. Because he just walked into it, um, it cancelled rather than coming out. So I, can, I, I wonder if the, tele, the tele-cancel OS works for an extra button. I'm not really sure because I don't. Oh, optimals. 
Oh, oh my god. And he catches oh, up on the spear ender. That is not damage. an easy combo to do, believe it or not. I Ford remember three the days. into standing four spear. That shit is tight. I remember the days where spear didn't do much damage. Yeah, yeah, beta days, spear did like nothing. It did like solely a Shang Tsung Ermac lift damage now. Uh-oh, he's, he's uh, punishing the cancel too. That might actually change the matchup quite a lot. Oh, no. Oh, not quite no close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mur Mirko right. definitely thought that was going to KB. Definitely thought that was going to KB. Oh, trading down. One for down one. Back two, acid. All right, yeah, he's not going to commit to the low. It is a huge risk, to be fair. Oh, that's not going to pay off. Mirko, he had the flawless block, but got greedy with the launch, and it's chewed up by that 2-1 from Aaron Black. Too fast. Oh, big jump kick, and that's going to do the is round. Is back 1-4-3 still minus 5, or is it more so? Because uh, I, I feel like that string might be a little bit too minus to have the speeds to both flawless block and then get an up 2 you, out from that. You definitely have... Uh, it definitely is... It's a minus 5, right? So it is safe. You definitely have the flawless block mind game, but whether or not you can launch never comes down... But it's partly in the speed of your launcher, and Scorpion's yeah. up 2 is not the fastest. I think the up 2 is too slow. He did um, up 3 there, it would have worked. But also, Aaron Black's two one does actually chew up up twos quite well. It's like it's a mixture of both. Uh oh, uh, no punish because he can't quite squeeze it in. Oh, oh, like that low, low profile. profile. Yeah, 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 the classic boys. Ah. Oh. oh. See all. Oh. Every time he's pulling the trigger on a low, he's getting it. But I think at this health, Mirko actually is kind of okay taking a low. It's only when it's actually going to kill or give good positioning he's going to worry about it. Other than that, it's just not worth the risk. All right, final moment. Oh, he got oh, up I... with buttons, but chewed up. Still able to come... Oh, never mind. Can't come back. Forget I said anything. I didn't finish the sentence, so technically I wasn't wrong. Damn, you idiot. Aaron Black. Aaron Black. What's the score? 4-4. Four, four. Hmm, it's 12 minutes to 8. I mean, he hasn't said anything in the chat, so I'm assuming it's okay. The hat is on. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, huh? Uh, shut the fuck up. I'm sick. I woke up sick yesterday. I've got one of these snorty sticks. What's it called? What? Health snorty point... sticks? Nasal inhaler. It's like a menthol oh, thing. Oh, I know the one. Yeah, do you remember old cleans you right out. Uh, well, it's supposed to. It doesn't quite, but I've got a cold. And it's horrible. It, I got it from Amy. Amy made me sick. I'm sorry to hear that. We're laying in bed and she'll just like cough and not realize that I'm there. She'll like cough in my face. I'm like, oh. thanks. Thanks for that. We've all been there. <laughs> I can firmly say that I have not been there. You give your significant other a hug and they cough in your fucking face. <laughs> yeah, it happens every day, mate. Every day. Yeah, regular occurrence. <laughs> Definitely a normal thing. This is why I like our first attends. It's just bullshit. <laughs> well, we don't. It's commentary that we don't have to do, really. This isn't a really all. commentary, is it? It's just us in front of microphones talking. Damn, over and the game. Orp getting hit by the strike from Scorpion. He is going to that wish he did not get hit by that Scorpion, applying his pressure and will take the first round that on the back of some clean offensive techniques. In the FGC, we call that short hop and overhead. It means you have to stand block to avoid punishment. Now, what will happen here? Mirko rolls away in cowardice, trying to avoid his opponent, but he now has the offensive stance once more, but the throw but he works. Hits one of the grabs. The grab is an unblockable and therefore cheap. In fact, I think there should be a community rule where we just don't do grabs. We will wait to see what the admin's decision is, whether he will be penalized for going for these forbidden tactics. Oh, that no. That down two was incredibly disrespectful. And personally, I think he should be fined. Anyway, that's bullshit. Oh, the responsive grabbing technique. Oh, the responsive grabbing technique. Oh. Stomp on that ass. Stomp on the head, man. Then big boots. Ooh. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that, that is literally a fuck off if ever I've heard one. You ever seen that Ridley Scott movie, The Duelist? Or Duelist? Is that Ridley Scott that did that? I think it was Ridley Scott, yeah. Oh, did that you weird see that thing read? About... Max Range yeah. jumped back because Ooh, he was that. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick.
Oh my god, I like that. I like that so much. Is it just me or is that like really underwhelming when Scorpion in quite a, a muffled tone of voice just goes, Do the nether realm with you. I feel like it should be a bit louder. Yeah. Ah, oh, strong two though for that brutality. That was sick. You guys are messing around, but you're interested. Peek during the commentary. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I didn't think, I didn't actually think, um, I never knew you could really combo into the telegraph because you what? couldn't for the longest time. It's that horrible eyeball emoji. Oh God, what, it's a Rio one. God, that's oh. horrifying. That's from MKX, I think. It looks like the right kind of texture. God. I was thinking more like the Gremlins movie. All we can say is, if you don't play... Or like, game, you, know, you, know, you know Total Recall when they're out in Mars? Oh, my oh God. yeah. The other way around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Total Recall. Oh, I remember no. That. Oh, man. Well, it's 5-4 for Mirko now. No word in the chat as to whether he can continue, but... I'm assuming that they can. Yo, yeah, those eyes are gross. That's, I love oh, them. God, they're horrible. I love them. They're horrible. I love them. You could combine so many things with that. <laughs> no more. Enough of this. She's mine. That's all you need to know. Oh, wow. That's happening a lot, though. Mirko is beginning to just go in for like these like, really ballsy like, forward dash into back ones because... I think he knows that Orp is consistently trying to stick out back twos, right? That he's going to walk into, but he's just being like no fear. Just straight up forward dash back one, and it's catching Orp out from like crazy He's ranges. got really good. He's got oh. incredible execution. Yeah, right I, I, I heard Scorpion didn't have any anti cross ups. Oh, Mirko does. However, he did try and anti air that and ate, ate the death, the green death. Right. <laughs> back into the corner. And, yeah, it's these back-to-back -back pokes. There was one thing that that was never, never not good. Was Scorpion's down one. Uh, never, down one never is not so good. good. Never, never not, not good. good. No, never, no. Never not good. No, never, no, never. Oh! Ooh. Get back down there, you idiot. Oh, no, watch out. Ooh, oh, God. that was definitely a flawless block. Or oh, he's at dead, least a right? Oh. His hat fell off. I feel like Mirko is just playing a little bit more fearlessly now, and it's definitely working out for him. Like he's, he was allowing Orp to, I, I think, get just too comfortable in the set, and Orp was kind of like... Whenever you beat Mirko, the, the best way when someone beats Mirko is they're finally able to, like, put a lid on it, right? They're able to, like... He's like a fart in a bowl, right? He's all over the damn place. But if you can put a lid on that, and you kind of feel like his movement is restricted... I don't get this analogy. No, it's like when... He's all over the place, isn't he? And if you can put a lid on it, he stops. That's yeah, my analysis. I get it. Yeah, right? And he's now not stopped because he's being more energetic. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for this. What does Scud yeah. mean? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I never did... I never... Really had the chance to watch too much Mirko play this game in longer sets. It's nice to watch it. Well, it, you only really see Mirko in Combat League nowadays. You know, he's he's never really been one for offline competition ever. I, I actually don't think he's ever been to. I've a never seen in Europe. him. I've never seen him at an offline event. And if he did attend one event, it was the one event I wasn't at. I've never seen this. No, guy. I, he's I, always been good. Like, across MKX, Injustice Two, and uh, MK11, I've never seen him actually attend one of the bigger European events. But he's yeah. always been a huge online presence, right? But you could definitely tell how that's kind of like shapes the way he plays the character. Because Scorpion's always been a bit of an online machine. He went for a flawless block reversal again, but eight, eight up by the 2-1. Uh oh Wow. Wake up, walk in, stand in one. Yeah, he did play Harley in Injustice 2. Yes, he did. He didn't really play Injustice 2 for very long. But again, when he did, it was mostly just... Harley and really nice conversion. His funny enough, actually, uh, his combos Ooh. with Harley were sick as well. He had really nice. Execution. He's always had excellent execution. It's been one of the best parts of his gameplay. I think fearlessness and execution are his two biggest traits. Always. Well, you've been talking about his wake up down ones the whole set. He's beginning to go just straight up wake up one one now. We saw it confirmed just then. Oh, Ooh, speaking the of confirms. Oh, ah. Uh. Goes in for the two one restand, and he steps back. He's really he's constantly like keeping orp stuck in place. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. 
Damn, I, I love this kind of like snappy movement orb. Getting the sweep, going out, going in again. <laughs> You're full of holes. Wow. That was just so rude. Can we talk about how Aaron Black's guns look like toys from Poundland? It, in that skin, they look like he just got them from the bargain bin. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it does look like he was like, oh, damn, I'm running out of guns, but I still need to look threatening. Oh, wait, the dollar store. They've got some toys, cowboy guns. Perfect. The wrong size. Who cares? The kind of toys that, like, you, you hold them and, like, like you, you can tell it's just a shell of two halves put together, but the seam isn't quite right, so it's a bit scratchy. Yeah, the kind of toys that can, like, you, you pick it up and you, like, scratch your hand. You're like, ow, what the... Nice conversion. Ugh. Oh, oh, he got the delay. Oh, not optimal though. Maka could have got a lot more yeah. damage for that. Uh, uh, Palmy thinks maybe he tried. You know, it's back three, back one, four, uh -oh. three. Perhaps he tried. Well, either way. Uh oh. Oh, now he's really screwed. Oh. Oh, he goes for it. Oh, oh punish. Oh, oh no. Down two, eh? Um, Scorpion can do that without having to not block, right? I know some characters can get the down two brutal even if they don't, even if they do block. I'm pretty sure Scorpion has a way. Strong two for the down two. Can anyone in chat confirm? Or, or or was that Mirko just not blocking? He can? Okay, he can bypass it. I I'm sure so. he blocked on that round. Yeah. Unless I have the worst eyesight in the world, apparently. Man, I am really sick. It sucks. Scorpion. I hate having a cold. I haven't had a cold in forever. Chat, do you put the milk in first or the water first when you make a cup of tea? There is there is a right and wrong answer to this, by the way. Don't fall for Do you tricks. do milk first or water first when you're making a cup of breakfast tea or whatever? Dafty does milk first. That was the first answer. Should we ban him from Hyper Combo? I don't know. Maybe. We'll give him one last chance. So any character has a capture state standing can. So how do you... Do you just end in down two or Jeff's like hold an input? Tea with milk? Oh, you've never heard of breakfast tea, mate. You've never heard. Oh! oh! <laughs> Mirko, you cheeky man. I feel like flawless blocking and launching someone's own wake up attack is one of the single biggest, like, big bollocks plays you can do in this game. Billy Big Bollocks will call that always. The Mac Dad will make you. Oh, we're punished. Aquaman, I hadn't had a nice drink in forever. Duffy, I said I'd ban you from Hyper Combo earlier because you used Earthquake in a Pokemon raid and killed our friends. Wow, what? <laughs> I, that? I know. Controversial. Some men used to mine. One of the world burn. We burnt the forest down. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I have seen away. more kind of like reversal... Fatal blows from Orb in this in this first attempt that I've seen in a long time. Uh oh, that's gonna be a nose cruncher. All right, give me that. Mm. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I love his execution, man. It's so good, Mirko. Oh, oh, Ooh, throw escape. Orb keep himself safe. Oh, another grab. Escape failed. That's bad for. Yeah, but it was the reverse grab. That was Mirko with the brains, knowing that he's gonna worry about the forward one. Oh, I love the way Orb does that. Ah, so good. Squeezing his poke in first. Oh, he was blocking for like three seconds. There's nothing worse than that, man. When you're both blocking for ages and then they finally do something, then it hits you. It's like, bruh. Mirko with that raw jump because he's oh, oh my Mirko, god he's done so many jump into teleport now that that really messes you up on defense because when he jumps in knowing that he could pull the trigger at any time and he can cancel it to stay safe it's, well, it's, scary. it's important to establish that i think especially in a first to ten with a character like scorpion with, with the ever-present threat of jump kick or oh. jump into empty jump into teleport and you're trying to fake out for the anti airs in longer sets, that's more likely to work because you can have longer to condition people. Especially someone like Orp that's going to know. Oh, big wake-up job, but didn't quite get the kick in time. I feel like if the kick was a bit earlier, we could have seen a combo from it, but not enough. Foxy, if you're in the chat right now, when are you going to play in one of these first attends with Ferris? Ferris? I want to see the mission. 
I mean, we had Foxy on week one, but that's already like almost two months ago now. This yeah, is like our sixth, sixth, seventh time doing this since the return. Ooh. Yeah, it's been pretty regular. Although I don't think, obviously, we're not free to do first attends next week because oh. of nice punish. Uh, we're not going to be doing first attends next week, obviously, because of the intercontinental finals. We'll be traveling to Sweden that week. Yes, um, that is unfortunately going to happen. So next week we're going to be skipping it. So the next one we'll do for these is in two weeks time. But uh, it shall be worth the wait, I'm sure, as we will have uh, NEC would have been done by then, as well as the Intercontinental Finals. So the points to talk about. The points. Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. Shit country. All right, Twitch chat. Calm the hell down. It's all right. What's wrong with Sweden? Sweden's all right. The biggest problem with DreamHack is that it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's really hard to get to the venue. It's like you have to fly. It's like often the drive to the drive to the venue can sometimes be longer than the flight to the country. It depends on where you fly from, right? But where? Do you remember the four-hour drive we had that one year? Yeah, but I, th I think that was us just going to some random ass airport. I don't think that was meant to happen. Still though, back on topic of it though, Mirko eight to four over Orp right now. Which actually means that Mirko might be finishing it in time for him. We got close to eight o'clock. He was like, "Crap, I've got to finish this quickly." <laughs> Pay me my tribute. Now, this is big, though. Ringmaster from Orp. This is definitely a character he's put a lot more time into over the Aaron Black. So, Orp. Can be going with this now instead. It does have a good Sonya. Good execution on the character from what I remember. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... But I was kind of expecting a change, anyway, because we know Orp plays Ooh. a bunch of... Oh, he, tried... he definitely tried to teleport that, by the way, for sure. But, um, I, do, I, I do like this um, this idea from Orb of, of kind of whiffing these 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 down ones as almost like a feint on the ring blast. Because obviously the thing about ring blast is that it's fast, but you, I mean you're Scorpion, you can still teleport it. So I think he's just trying to fake out the down ones. Oh, that teleport through the ring. That is some tech. Block the first ring and teleport through the second one. Dedicates into the back one string actually all the way through. But uh, we were waiting. We were going to... I think I was expecting a Sonya pick eventually. And it was always going to happen when he's inevitably down a few games. Uh, because now Mirko's found the flow. You kind of need to slow it down. And I think changing character isn't one of the worst ways to do that. It's like an automatic change of pace. Oh, You're forcing punish. a different matchup. And he's ready for the wake up. Full with punish and a great round. Good stuff. It's still crazy how much damage Sonya seems to get for no bar. It, it's still relatively uncommon to have, like, to use no meter and still get decent damage like that. Oh, oh that's so knowledge. good. So good. You can tell this guy's fought Sonya once or twice. And the good thing oh, about man. that is it's reversal timing too. So you block the ring and you just you just do teleport. And it will it will get through. That's such good knowledge. And oh, also, my micro duck. I feel like that's going to be quite worrisome for Orp. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he might. I think oh, he's gonna no. For sure. I think he's going to change character after this because the second you shut down that energy ring amp, it's, you know, a big part of his gameplay. And I don't think he trusts the games he has left to make it happen. Strong two for the amount of teleports he used to get through ring. Two in total. <laughs> I actually love that. I love that matchup knowledge, though. I've never seen Scorpion teleport Brand to get new Lamborghini amplify rings before. That was so clean. It's a shame Mirko doesn't compete. I mean, I don't, I can't speak for a situation, so I don't know why he doesn't, but he has been like a, a serious online player for Netherrealm games from like MKX to now. He just but doesn't he, go offline. He just never, but uh, he just doesn't. I don't it's know. Not why. Even, it's not even like he doesn't do it because he fears it, or he's not sitting there. He's not there talking shit either. Like he's well, not he, saying, he "Oh, enters, these guys he are." He enters afraid, everything right? online as well. He enters everything yeah. online, so he clearly likes competing. But um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, he doesn't even not compete in bad spirits. It's not because you know he he isn't content playing online and then oh. shit talking everyone. He's actually he's actually pretty humble, is Mirko. He just doesn't compete. You know, this, it's, I would love, love, love to see him compete next year. I want to see it. He's so good. This is quickly escaping Orp though. We even saw yeah. like the, the first time Orp got one, one, one blocked. He went for the gun cancel. Not safe. It is a gimmick. And Mirko immediately recognizing that. Oh, oh no! Saving Grace was too far away to get the down one. But at this point, I'm not even sure it matters. Squeezes in the amp, but 
Fool's Hope at that point. So that's going to get chipped out by 1-1-2. Okay, this is it. Set point for Mirko. 9-4. to four. One life bar and we might be done. In time for Cornflakes. Six minutes past. is actually kind of making pretty good time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Again. It's just oh. everything's coming up Millhouse at this point, man. Everything's working out. Like, how many games has it been? Oh, everything. The throw tech was the first thing that's really gone right for Orphan Ages. Oh, whiff punish for oh, the cactus. No. All right, probably tried to duck that, I imagine. Oh no, he drops the combo. Now this is a really good situation for. I know it's hard to keep Scorpion cornered anywhere thanks to the teleport, but as long as you're forcing that situation, oh, a neutral no. jump kick. Last chance. Ah, finished. Disgusting. And that is that. What began as an incredibly close trading game for game set very quickly escalated into a bit of a sweep for Mirko by the end towards their 10-4 final scoreline. Mirko finishing in good time. Mirko reminding us all why he's so damn good with Scorpion, dude. Like, that, that is one of the best Scorpions that we've ever seen in this game. And I really, 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 really hope that next year we see Mirko, like, trying to attend some European events. I'd love to see it. It is at Mirko is absolutely one of the most kind of I would say wasted potential in the European it screw it in the Mortal Kombat community honestly for how for how much we've seen Mirko play online how many times we've seen him at our online events over and over and over again and to just not get the chance to see that translate into like a, a major offline sense oh it's, it's 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 depressing because it's so there's there's so much what could be right what things could be like but hopefully we eventually see it as clearly Mirko has the skills especially with his character well GG's all around and thanks Orp for playing as well man I know Orp used that obviously using it as an opportunity to test the waters with Aaron Black and he looked really solid too